Hi guys, my name is Tesla Kayla and welcome to what I hope is my first YouTube video. I think I've always wanted to do YouTube but I never had the guts to actually or maybe just the perseverance or determination but engineering is what I study so that's just been really stressful lately so I decided you know what now is the time to be creative and just hope for the best. I haven't really figured out exactly content wise what everything will be but for today's video I thought that I'd show you guys the stuff that I got I went makeup shopping so Switch Beauty is a South African makeup brand and it's really cool really affordable the quality is pretty for the price actually even better for the price it's really really good so they had it was their third birthday I guess around this time of the year and they had a really cool pop-up sale it was a one day only thing and it was like fantastic it's such a huge channel i don't think that i expected that many people to be there so it started at 10 and my friend and i got there like just before 10 and we figured okay cool you know early enough we'll be at least 50 people you know and the line snaked around so much so after about an hour and 10 minutes of waiting we finally got into the store and yeah just went crazy so i'm about to show you what i got so the first thing is the s19 total buffer brush so i have their i think it's the total gloss range of makeup brushes which is also rose gold and i am in love with the foundation brush that came in that set i actually prefer using it over my real techniques brush so this is supposed to be better than that so i'm really really excited about it and then what did i get next after that it is the 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 ultimate crease brush like I started getting into eyeshadows recently, so this is gonna go oh, so soft. This is really, really pretty. And I just love rose gold, so in general, I'm like, yep. And also, these were in sale for 40 Rand each. So basically a steal if you think about it. Next, I got the Matte Bounce powder. So I've been using the Crayolan powder for as long as I can remember. And I've loved it, but it's about to be finished. So I figured, you know what? Let me try something new. So you can use this powder to bounce, bake, and matte. I was like, what is bounce? Why is it called matte bounce? Like matte, I understand bounce. Basically, they define bouncing as your blender on the trampoline. So this was actually 75 rand. Really cool. Um, okay, so it's sealed. So... I'm really excited to try this out. It's a no color, so it goes with basically all skin tones, which is great. The next thing that I got is eyeliner. It's got a bit, well, it's a white packaging, but the print is holographic. This is a matte ink liner, which won't make you a better daughter-in-law, help you during test week, or make your boyfriend text you back in a timely manner. But you will have some damn good eyeliner. So let's open this out. Packaging is really tight. When I first saw the packaging, because it was like on display, I was like, where's the product in this? But, ta-da! So let's just, it's actually an eyebrow brush to like fill in your brows. But we're going to use it for this for now. That is a really, really pigmented black dark eyeliner. And this was 100 grand, I think. So that is great. The thing that I picked up for me was like really going out of my comfort zone. <laughs> but how great is this packaging? Again, amazing. I love holographic, shiny, anything. And well, in general, it's called the Unicorn Source Palette. And in general for eyeshadow, I'm a very neutral browns really dark pinks maybe a very dark orange but anything that can be borderline brown is what will go on my eyelids so when i saw this palette i was like you know what kayla it is time for you to explore so this is just every color that you could think of in one 
taking off the seal you guys I'm in love with the blues and the purples and the pinks and do you know like on Instagram I'll see these really cool eyeshadows like looks and I want to create them but then I don't have the colors so I'm actually just gonna swatch a few just to like see so I really like this this is beautiful navy blue look at the pigment wow like wow and then I think I'm gonna try this it's like a it's a burnt orange red ish That's really pretty. And then let's go for purple. I do think that for some of the colors, I may have to just make sure that I have a really good like concealer or a base color. I've never really used green eyeshadow, but we're gonna try. I'm so in love with this pigment. So this is them swatched on my hand, if you guys can see that, and I hope that you can. <laughs> I'm really, really, I'm so pleased with this budget. Wow. So pretty. The last thing, no, second to last thing that I picked up was the Glowgasm palette, which is a really great highlighter palette. I actually already have this, but then this is for my cousin. So I'm not gonna open this up, on camera but I'll show you my one which I've been using since last year February and I'm obsessed like I don't use any other highlighter sometimes like maybe I'll use my Colourpop one but you don't need anything when you have this so I generally use the rose gold shade that's a lot more my speed and this buttery gold one over here is practically a dupe for trophy wife but it happened before Trophy Wife even came out, the one by Fenty, so I don't know. They're very similar. They're great. I love it. You know, might as well just have a handful of glitter. So my hands just look really ratchet right now because I've got all the shades and the swatches and... How beautiful are these colors like highlight is my favorite thing in the world the last thing that i bought which is probably the most the most unnecessary purchase i could have made but i'm such a harry potter fan so i could not say no to these so these are just brushes i think they're for your well done kayla they are for your eyes but i think you can basically use them wherever needed and they are the Harry Potter wands, which I'm so excited about. Like, there's a chance that I may not even use them for their intended purpose, but I could just, you know, I can channel my inner Hermione and just be like, it's Leviosa, not Leviosa. <laughs> anyway, that's all for today's video. Hopefully, I've actually managed to record this. And if you guys liked it, let me know down below. Like, if you have any constructive criticism, let me know in the comments below. Like, I'd love to know how I can improve. If there's anything that you'd like to see. Well, comments are there for your taking. Bye, guys. Hopefully, see you soon. But the print is holographic. I actually just want to check my teeth, my lips. Like, my biggest fear... My biggest fear is actually having lipstick on my teeth, so... Let's hope that I don't have it.